of France. And we're just waiting for Pavia. As it looks as if she's not appearing, she may have been injured. She was the one that went into the structure it's before. Really? Is that the one? Oh, that is a shame, Whoa. isn't it? Well, she didn't appear to be hurt because she continued in that contest, but she went crashing into the podium. Remember? I do remember. I just, because obviously she carried on, I didn't realize she was injured. But obviously the, she was, which is quite sad to finish the day like that. Yeah, what a shame. Anyway, it's a bronze medal for Russia. Zabudina so we've just got takes um, that bronze. So we're the just watching match. this one here. Yeah. yeah. So this is uh, the match, as we said, between yeah, Ilyeva Ivalina Ilyeva uh, of, of Bulgaria and Bayerns of Belgium. Yeah. Julie. Julie Bayerns. Bayerns. Yeah. I remember this young lady, Ryans, when she was a cadet, Youth Olympic medalist and junior bronze medalist many years ago oh and so it's she's got some form then oh she's got a lot of form a good 10 years behind her already and she's still really? under 23 running round as a wee 44 kilo category player giving our girls a good run for their money and the Belgians are coming, aren't they? They're really knocking out some results they've now. Got, considering they've got a very small team, they actually do very well. And there's a mm. lot of politics between, obviously, they've got the Flemish side and the French side. So it's amazing how they can actually produce such quality players and the selection procedure seems to work for them, which is good. Mm. Um, obviously, they've got Neil Adams now, one of our guys, and he's over there and he seems to be quite happy and doing a good job. Yeah. So well done to Neil. Yeah. As you said, they've got one medal in the bag already. And uh, Neil's a quality coach. So oh, definitely. Belgium He's got a lot to offer. They should do well with him. He did quite a good job with whilst he was in Wales. Saw some oh of the girls, great especially. Loss for Wales. You know, some great of the loss. players were really starting to come on before he left and um, so uh, we'll, uh, look forward to seeing what uh, materializes between now and 2012 I dare say a lot of these athletes will be oh, featuring large some fantastic potential in 2012 because they are seniors I mean That's a lot right. of them are seniors yeah. now Majority are. There are yeah. obviously a couple of that are under 20 um, participating here. Mm. But this is a good event that gives them that opportunity to compete in this kind of transition period from uh, it's a fantastic junior opportunity for to senior judo. Yeah, especially like I've said before, especially for the men because the transition period for men from Can going take from a junior while. boys into being men and into that senior category is just such a large stepping stone for them. So having the, the under 23 gives them a little bit more leeway and helps them to, to develop. Yeah, it helps them to have some success as well. You need That's that, don't you? you oh, need to definitely. Especially if you've been a very good junior. Exactly. To go from being maybe... Six years, <laughs> maybe, yeah, years. possibly. And, and we've had that situation. Unless you're exceptional, unless you, you know, you... I think you, you see a better transition yeah. for the women yeah. But it is very, very difficult for the men. Unless you're an Iliadis. Oh, that's you know, right. Or somebody but of that. He was elk. born a man, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's got more of a growth when he was 12 <laughs> than you have now. Yeah. <laughs> well, Julia is doing well here. Very, very slow start. Nothing really been given away at all e on either side. Ayers is very good at what she does. And that's very little, but she's she's good at it. She's defending well, though, isn't uh, she? She doesn't give anything defense. away. She doesn't give nothing away. And she's been like that for a long, long time. I remember even as a cadet and junior, her style hasn't changed too much. She's just developed.
Bulgarian trying to come back into this, pressing Bayens. 126 remaining of this final bronze medal contest on the first day of this under 23 European Championships. We're in Antalya, Turkey for the whole weekend. So there's more judo tomorrow, Saturday. Is it Saturday tomorrow? Saturday tomorrow. It is Saturday. Yeah. And Sunday. Was it a Yuko? I'm not sure. I think she scored Yuko for that. It looks as if she had the Wazari was from the three. That's right. The we'll give three that Yuko. Shidos that Ili Ilieva has already. So Ilieva, well beaten here by the look of it. There's 40 seconds she's left, but she hasn't shown any. She's got nothing to counteract it, has she? She's been, she's been no threat at all to Bayern. So Julie Bayern just cruising away now to the bronze medal here. There's 26 on the clock. She just needs to make no mistakes. Stay focused. How many times have we said that and seen the change at the end? Yep. <laughs> so she does look very oh, composed very solid very player. relaxed doesn't make too many mistakes you know when you say something like that you do expect to eat your own words eventually yeah, she's just got to keep it down on the ground Seven seconds. The countdown begins. I can safely say I think Belgium have got this this medal in the bag. That's it. That's it. Another bronze for Belgium on the first day of the competition. That's not bad. That's two bronzes. Two bronzes is great. Four categories. I think they've got a. a White judo team. And the Belgian the team won't be one of Belgium. the biggest. Julia They'll Bayes. be on the medal table, won't they? There's 40 countries participating, isn't there, over the weekend? Yeah, I, believe. I think it's roughly that number, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, woman category, under the 57 kilos, for final match.